Welcome to my YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell to receive notifications. Now, some people might believe that the Earth is flat and others think that's nothing but a conspiracy theory. Muslims have to believe that the Earth is flat. Now, most modern Muslims, especially here in the West, they don't believe that the Earth is flat and they actually fight against the idea that the Earth is flat. We know that the Muslim scholars all agree that the earth is fixed. Muslims who go to the madrasa might even be beaten or get beaten by their Muslim teachers if they don't believe that the earth is fixed. But what about that the earth is flat? What is that idea? Is it true that the earth can be flat according to the Quran of Allah? Could that be that if you reach a certain point that you might fall off. I don't want to go into those kind of details. That's not that kind of video. But I got a question from a Muslim who wanted me to answer him. And he said the following. He sent me a message on Skype. So he's asking me to help him and he might leave Islam if we can answer his question question it seems that his scholars cannot answer him they have to lie to him and this person i believe he is actually a sincere muslim he's looking for the truth and he's really in doubt about islam and he's asking me to help him with tafsir al-tabari and if i can prove to him that the earth is flat then he will leave islam according to him here's the message from md tohin and i quote Hi, Rob Christian. I'm a Muslim from Bangladesh. I have learned about you from YouTube. Your video is eye-opening. I have a request for you. Please tell us what is the shape of the earth from Tafsir Tabari. If you can show Tabari says, according to the Quran, earth is flat, I will leave Islam. So he knows that the Tabari, the, tab the commentator Tabari, is the creme de la creme. He's the number one to go to, right? when it comes to tafsir of the Quran. He's the most earliest, right? He is the number one. So if I can show him from a tabari that the earth is flat, he's going to leave Islam. He said, if I can show him from a tabari that according to a tabari, the earth is flat in the Quran, he will leave Islam. So I hope my friend, you are sincere and you're being honest and that we are not wasting our time. So I will try to help you and I'm going to show you from Tafsir al-Tabari that the earth, according to al-Tabari in his Tafsir, that the earth is flat. And if you are a sincere and honest person, you're going to leave Islam for your own salvation. Please don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Do it for your salvation. And he continues saying, please do it. I hope you will. God, please show us the true path. Amen. My friend, I hope you're going to leave Islam after this video and you're going to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Let us start. Let me help you, my friend. This person might be lucky or thankful that we can read the Arabic. So let us go to the At-Tabari and see if we can help this person. But before we do that, he also sent me a message on YouTube. This is the same guy with a different nickname. And you'll immediately notice. It is him. I'm sure it's him. Bilal Dahaka or Dahaka one day ago. So he sent me this message in the YouTube comment section. And he says, you are genius. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Your videos are eye opening. So you see from his <clears throat> sentences, you can understand that it's the same person. If you show from Tafsir Tabari that according to Quran, Earth is flat, I will leave Islam. So if I can prove from Tafsir Tabiri that the earth is flat, he will leave Islam. Please help me. He says, I hope you will. Thanks in advance. 
and I gave him a like on this comment as you see. Now at least he recognizes and confirms that at tabari is the number one commentator of the Quran. So if at tabari says in his commentary about the Quran that the earth is flat, then that means the earth is flat according to the Quran. As simple as that. At tabari is the creme de la creme when it comes to explaining ayahs of the Quran. Or as some people like to call it, Quranic exegesis. No one, no one can disagree with a tabari or calls him a liar and a hypocrite and can get away with it. You simply cannot do that. Some people might even die if they do that. Most scholars and commentators get their tafsir from a tabari anyways. So when a tabari commentated or gave his Quranic exegesis, the Muslims, including scholars, simply listened and obeyed a tabari. So let us see what a tabari has to say about the earth being flat or not. Now, for example, chapter 79. Surah 79, Ayah 30. Chapter 79, Ayah 30. Let me read the Arabic. وَالْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ دَحَاهَا دَحَاهَا Now what does دَحَاهَا mean? We know that the earth means Al-Ard. But what does دَحَاهَا mean? Now some Muslim translators, they are translating it as and after it spread out the earth. And after it spread out the earth. This is a translation by Ahmad Riza Khan. Ahmad Riza Khan. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? That the earth is spread out? Or does it simply actually mean Allah made it flat? Let us see. According to the creme de la creme, Mr. Al Tabari. So let us see what At-Tabari has to say about it. Let us see what, according to At-Tabari, his tafsir, his Quranic exegesis, what does he say about this ayah? Same chapter, chapter 79, ayah 30. Chapter 79, ayah 30. Tafsir al-Quran At-Tabari. Tafsir al-Quran At-Tabari. So let us scroll down and let us see what At-Tabari reports in his tafsir. An Qatada Wal Arda Ba'da Dalika Dahaha Dahaha. That's the word that we're looking for. A meaning Basataha Basatha. Meaning he made it flat. He made it flat. Who? Allah made it flat. Allah made the earth flat. Al Ard. So the word dahaha, according to the commentary of At-Tabari, and he's quoting Qatada, it means the earth was made flat by Allah. <laughs> If we continue reading, An Abi Hamza, An As-Suddi, dahaha, so according to Abi Hamza, Abi Hamza, and from a Suddi, Dahaha, again this word, Dahaha, Kala, Basataha, Basatha, Basatha. So that means he made it flat. Again, if we continue reading, Ar Rahman, Kala, Sufyan, Dahaha. Again, Basatha. Do you see it? Basatha. So he made it flat. How do we know that this word means flat? Well, let's us show you. So here, as you see, this word, Daha, it means flatten. Do you see it? Flatten. Level. Flatten. Spread out. So it means to make something flat. You see it? It means to make something flat. Like, let's say, when you use a steam roller to make 
the ground flat to level out the ground to make it flat or if you go to the kitchen your mother might make cookies or bread or you know for the festivities she might bake a cake or something she will use a roller a kitchen roller that's what actually the haha means to make something flat like dough and here is for example the word basatha flat you see flat 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 it is flat all right and bisat bisat means a rug now i don't need to explain to you what a rug is right it means simply a carpet right do you see it bisat so it's flat something flat on the ground carpet a rug right a rug a carpet so basically we can conclude that allah made the earth flat the ha ha he made flat he made the earth flat allah simply made the earth flat and we showed you what the word is for a rug a carpet we saw it you see it basataha bisat basataha bisat basataha bisat so it's nothing but uh, a flat earth as you see so to make something flat equal with the ground so basically you see it this is the word that is being used basataha basataha dahaha basataha and this is not according to Rob Christian. This is Al Tabari. Do you see it? Al Tabari. Tafsir al Quran for chapter 79, ayah 30. Tafsir al Quran al Tabari. And I will also provide the link in the description box. But according to Tafsir al Tabari, and he's quoting very important people. I mean, these people are not. Uh, jokers qatada we, we showed you qatada abdul rahman as suddi all of them they are confirming that the haha the word the haha means basatha which means to make it flat i hope this person by the name of md tuhin or bilal the haka he now finally has an answer and I hope that he's going to leave Islam. My friend, don't leave Islam for Rob Christian. Don't leave it for me. Leave it for yourself because Islam is nothing but a 7th century ignoramus man-made religion. Muhammad himself thought that the earth is flat. The scholars, the early scholars knew what Muhammad meant by that. The haha. So it means to make it flat. The earth is flat. And who is better, as you already confirmed, who is better than a tabari when it comes to Quranic exegesis or commentary? But wait, maybe we can find an English translation for Al Jalalain. We know that Al Jalalain is also not a joke. The teacher and his student, Al Jalal number one and Jalal number two. Al Jalalain, both Jalals. This is the. Sorry, this is Tafsir al-Jalalain. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. Tafsir al-Jalalain. For the same chapter. Same ayah. 79, 30. 79, ayah 30. Tafsir al-Jalalain. Tafsir al-Jalalain. Alright, what does it say? Wal-ard. Wal-arda ba'da thalika dahaha. Wal-arda ba'da thalika dahaha. Let's see what it says. And after that, he spread out the earth. He, Allah, made it flat. Do you see it? Allah made it flat. So we have also a translation from Muslims who translated that the earth is flat. And let me prove to you why they are translating it as the earth is flat. He, Allah, made it flat. He made it flat. Watch. Here is Tafsir Jalalain in Arabic. Tafsir al-Jalalain for the same chapter, same ayah. Tafsir al-Jalalain. Let me show you why they are translating it as 
He made it flat. He made it flat. Let us scroll down. Let us scroll down to the word dahaha. Okay, here. وقوله دحاها بسطة 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 Do you see it? بسطة what, what does that mean بسطة? It means the following You see Actually, you know, you have an idea what it actually means If we look at the word دحا for example Road roller A roller, right? To make the road flat And دحا Daha means flatten, to make something flat, to level something, to make it flat. And here, basata, basata, flatten something with a roller. Let's say a road roller, a steam roller, or a kitchen roller. Do you see it? If your mother is going to bake you some cookies, she'll use a kitchen roller. So, to make something flat with a roller, flatten. A surface, do you see it? To make something flat, to flatten the surface, in this case, the earth, to make the earth flat. So now you'll have an idea why the earth, according to Tafsir al Tabari and Tafsir al Jalain, why it means flat. Why it means flat. Why they, the early scholars, believed that the earth was flat. So, my friend, I hope you're going to leave Islam because you asked me to help you. So we did. We put some time and effort in this video to show you that the earth is flat. So I hope you are a man of your word and don't do it for me. Do it for your own salvation. Do it for yourself. You said if I can show you from Tafsir al-Tabari and we also confirm it from Tafsir al-Jalalain. If we can show you that the earth is flat you will leave islam that's what you said so i hope you're going to leave islam i will also send you the video in skype thanks for watching people please share our videos on social media god bless what the hell is this we have seen the evidence you cannot escape anymore. You're finished. A'udhu Billah. Everyone will unfollow you now. You are a crook. And you are a fraudster. And we will call every, each and every single one of you out. Wallahi, we will call you out and we will catch you. Because part of our da'wah is not just to find the disbelievers. The disbelievers who are a'da. The enemy is disbelievers. But also to find the munafiqun of the ummah. That they're creeping around, pretending to be Muslims. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. Don't ever come out. Any, any retraction you do now, switch off your social media. I don't want to see your face. I don't want to hear your voice. Wallahi. Wallahi, you're a crook and a fraudster. I parked the tractor right here. Now it's gone. Is that your goat? Yeah, that's Nelly. She's in heat, huh? Yeah. That's why I got her separated from the other animals. They can't resist her. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs>